I've been waiting to share this episode with you guys for such a long time. I love it when I hear about other people finding love. I love a good love story. And I also am very thankful to be in one. The wedding gown is, to me, one of the greatest moments of a woman's life. It's an embodying of the woman you are. What kind of woman are you? The style of the gown, the intricate details of a gown, the way your body falls into the gown, the way the gown is supposed to shape around you. Everything is a celebration of womanhood and I'm very proud of it. What was I saying? Okay, let's just get into this. so cinematic with music. Just to let you know, so I am in the house of Galia Lahav. So Galia Lahav is a design house for wedding couture and I love their work. She's ready. Wow. wow. Okay. That's beautiful. But Boob central. It's too much watermelon. <laughs> it's like sexy Kate Middleton. Sexy. Kate Middleton? Like with the arms and stuff, like very like the regal. Arms. What are these called, please, besides sleeves? They're an illusion sleeve. Yeah, an illusion, illusion lace sleeve. sleeve. Yeah, so it's... So I think in the beginning, I wanted to toy with the idea of having a mermaid gown because it's classic, it's beautiful. If you guys see me on the red carpet, I'm always donning a mermaid gown. I already knew in my heart that I wasn't going to land on one, but I think that when you already know what works for you, it's safe to have some of those as a backup, so here I am. I think the the, the lace is too full for my body. It, uh -huh. it feels like it sits on my body rather than like curving it. Mm -hmm. But I do love this neckline. Okay. That's pretty. Look like uh, the table flat for the beautiful Oh my God. Totally, totally. Too much, too much flower. Too much flower. So we're gonna try something else on. I agree. Right there. Come in. Can it be about me for just a second? Whoa, 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 whoa. That looks dangerous. Yeah. So Daniel, one thing I will say I like is this three-quarter mermaid. To be honest with you, I don't like gowns like this one that has like, you know, they look like paillettes on, you know, placed in different places because if you don't get the photo just right, it looks like something just landed on your body. What I know she's the angel on the, on, the, on the cloud. Remember when Drew Barrymore was going through her daisy phase and she was just wearing daisies everywhere? I too did that. With a mermaid. I love the train, but I don't love a puffy train. It doesn't need to be this, yeah. because I feel like a lot of people will have to tend to me and it's gather that. Like dirt and all the other stuff. Do you remember when Priyanka Chopra got married? Like, and she had like a really, really, really long veil that went for like miles it went away. Went three miles. All Should the way we to do like five miles just out through her? Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't even know what we're talking about. What, what do you do? Like, there's no like to like a <laughs> <laughs> special <laughs> toilet. Should be in there already. No. When I go one, two, three, puff, okay. You okay. spill me down here also, <laughs> Daniel, having to do manual labor on the day I was supposed to help. One, two, three. Guys, that was beautiful. One more time, just for safety, just okay, for safety. I'll, I just got back up. Oh. <laughs> Marab's got it, Marab's got it. Some people choose to wear off colors because they're not pure. Because like, she like the olden time. just drives in English because she lost her virginity. I'm not here to spread any rumors that she's unpure, but you can have you this. You're talking about me. You don't wear the white dress because you lost your virginity already. Unpure. Unpure. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay. I see your nipple. I see your nipple too. Can I just get through the fitting oh, and then go ahead, we'll go ahead, go ahead. Blur that out, blur it out. Obviously these are just sample sizes. They're not the actual size that you're gonna end up with. So just remember that when you wear them on, every gown can be altered, every gown. You can even completely take out a bust line of a gown and put another bust line on. There's so much that, that can be made when you reconstruct it. So don't get stuck with, if your nipple is hanging out, it's not gonna be hanging out the wedding day, okay? It's gonna be fixed. I like this one more comfortable. I like this one beautiful. It's like that's sexy. Like that's very beautiful. Nice. Come, can I dab? This one the best. Can I dab? Means uh, this is. But nice. you have to cover the nipple. That's all. <gasps> okay. 
Hello, Met Gala. Can you explain to me you hate what it. this is? <laughs> Just so I understand the purpose of it. Fashion, honey, fashion, look it up. What I meant about this is there are many different parts of the world where I've seen this being worn for religious purposes and I just wanted to make sure that this wasn't something that someone just turned into a trendy headpiece and that I would be wearing something that would be inappropriate. Fashion. Fashion, I just fashion. To... <laughs> fashion. Fashion, 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 fashion. Ooh, I liked this gown because it had a little bit of a Marilyn Monroe vibe. I also really loved the bony. I love seeing bony in a gown because it just, it gives you a very old school feel of the dresses back in the day that gave it structure. So this kind of led me to seeing that the actual gown I'd land in would have bony. This is the shape I did not think about. It's very cool. This undertone right here, oops, sorry. I can actually see where my mind starts to confirm more and more that I wanted something gownish rather than mermaid something more princessy because i'm seeing the silhouette and i'm liking the drama this is like a champagne and ivory blend i think that's prettier than white it is <laughs> unpure your mom said roll back the tape you don't wear the white dress because you lost your virginity already <gasps> Elaine! she made it so Elaine is one of my nearest and dearest friends from the yay area. A spectacular, brilliant woman and so fun. And now that Elaine's moved to LA, I can finally see my friend more. And I don't always live in LA now, so I actually got so excited that such a momentous occasion would bring us both together. This is actually just a, a mermaid-ish, it's like a mermaid column. I don't I like the, to yeah. show her pen the eyes. I bet you the father cannot concentrate when she's talking about the Mary. It fits you like a freaking glove. Your body looks bomb. Thanks, babe. I like that. Yeah. Thank you. It really looks like bomb. It. Get awesome. you a girlfriend that's gonna be your ride or die, your cheerleader. Yo, this one. Women from the Bay will always play. They are everything. It's a little. It is essential to have a butt tuck. Right there. That little. Yeah. Thing, it is. That's real. That's beautiful. This is what I do want to ask you though. What made you decide your veil? Like to veil or not to veil? What led you to your decision? Because your veil is beautiful. It was my mom's veil. Wow. Yes, I did not know. So that's... I don't... I've never been married, magic. so... You have been married. It's called death. <laughs> I know, but I never have a wedding. My father doesn't that's accept... Right. Your father, that's why I cannot have a wedding. I did not Should we throw you a wedding before hers? Mama Mai has never had a wedding period. She did not have a wedding when she married my dad and she also didn't have a wedding when, you know, because it was revealed here, Uncle Ted and Mama Mai got married. So my mom has never had an actual wedding. How you do teapot when you bow? Can you bow on the way? Oh. Can you bow? How are you gonna bow? Mom, of course I can bow. What she's referring to here is the most important in, in my culture part of the wedding, which is when you ask for permission from your parents and you kind of, you know, exchange tea with them to get their blessing to say you are now in the family. And you guys heard about the tea ceremony that we had in our ceremony. Making sure that I could bow in every dress was definitely on the struggle bus for me. So do one bow, one bow. I know I'm gonna be able to bow. Just right. bow, example, one bow, see how's it, how do you gonna bow? Okay. See, yeah, see? can you bow? Oh, <laughs> do it towards. And then, okay, and then you bow on the way down. Bow on the floor, on the floor. I can't go further than this. You have to go on the floor. I can't. It's it's a rip. It ripped. Mom! I don't accept Mary. 40 of them already, I just bowed. We have to go 40, all the way to the 40, floor, all the way. Most of the time when you bow on, in Asian culture, you bow with your hands on your, oh my God, that looks like Illuminati, right? Which I don't even know what I'm saying when I say that. So, you know, you're supposed to kind of block your forehead like this because your hands go all the way to the ground. Like, imagine this is the ground. It's like, bing, bing. And, and so if you can't go all the way down, it looks like you're half in it. Okay, Aww. this is a ball gown. Wow. wow. This was way too Disney. This one beautiful, but look like, uh, you know, what is it? You holding the squaw 
A swan? A gig, a gig. Which one? The sword, the sword. Oh, the like sword. Like a sword. Yeah. yeah. The bony. And without this, that, without the, without the horns. It actually could make it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Because it's more understated. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't like it. This dress, show the dress, let it show your body. Like cartoon character. I don't like, like it. cartoon character. It totally is like a cartoon it's character. There's too many things going on. Oh, she's describing like it's two Disney princess. This is a cotillion dress. Yes, 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 yes. So this is a no. No, no. zero. Across the board. Zero. Zero. Okay, got it. Yeah. Too much. Too much. It's so okay. distracting. It's like I can't even see your body. Thank you, Rosie. Hey, girl. Okay, okay this off-white, because I'm tainted. Rosalina is like my big sister. As I, as I grow older, I want to get more like Rosalina. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a second? You want more than you, you want antique. That's you confuse me. Okay. You don't love it. I don't love it. Allie, one of my best friends. Hi, oh. Allie. My best friends. You know, Lee, I've heard Jamie talk about you. It's oh, so Bay Area, good to be here. Yes. Author, I do want special and I do want a moment. This yeah. isn't giving the moment. It's not giving the like the wow factor. Okay. It's a beautiful dress. Yeah. It's flattering on you, but it doesn't give me wow well factor. I'm not crazy about the lace. It doesn't do much for me. Give it for me for free, I won't take it. Zero. <laughs> no. Nice work. You look old, look ugly anyway. <gasps> look like your mom will keep it real. 50 years ago when you Is your mom as real as mine? You know my mom. I just want you to have a dress where someday another girl is looking for her wedding dress and says, I want to dress like Jeannie Mize. Yeah. Because it was iconic. So it's not aspirational. No. This dress just like when you found the flea market 20 years ago. Oh, oh my God. Uh, it's just, it's more gas. Oh, gas. Don't, it's more <laughs> Elaine, don't it's bite true. into it. It don't. I would not don't. bite you. I have to go oh, to don't. meet a friend right now. I am late. I'm supposed to go right now. So I'm gonna pause this. When I come back, it's not gonna be the same lighting and I'm probably gonna have one eyelash hanging on because I'm gonna be super tired and I will have had a few drinks. I lied. I had to wait for a couple of days later because when you're in your 40s and you drink too much, you have this hangover that pretty much like puts you out for the whole week. So here I am, back, so fresh and so clean, clean. And I'm actually in the room where I shoot the reel. Hi. So let's get back into it, shall we? So in my mind, I, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, do you see this? Dude. As you can see, this can really tear your hair out. This is the real me. Um, so I knew I wanted to wear a nude wedding gown. Every time I was trying on the gowns, I didn't feel comfortable in the white gowns. I always felt that the most purest color that would not only reflect, not the purity we're talking about, because that ship has sailed, but the purity of, of my love for Jay and how transparently close we are would be nude. And so this is the first time I tried a totally nude dress and it's right on point. Mm -hmm. it, it, the color and fashion Which is, is there. It's not, I wouldn't say that this is understated. I would say it's understated compared to what we've been going with applique right. and everything. But fashion, this, this is, is fashion. This wedding mm -hmm. dress is a jewelry wedding dress. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This one, this one. And yeah. it has You have to wear the most that. beautiful jewelry with this. Yes, us. yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 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 She said she hates crown. I, I really do. But what if you put this with it? Yeah. I never want to look like that trick that actually said, oh my god, you guys, I really want to feel like a princess on my day. Right. <laughs> yeah, on the tier. Like, I don't want to be her. She's there. We're sitting over here. She's right. You're right at my here. table. She's right We're here. not playing with her. Wait, well, I love that you guys match right now, you two. This is a really sweet moment. That is the lady Diane. Oh my god, look how cute that is. This gown was the closest to what I ended up with. Yeah, yeah, I don't like your Jesus that? Maria. Shut up. A Jesus Maria? Clearly we know mom didn't like go to Jesus church. Or Maria. Maria. And it was Maria. You mean who Mary? Maria, Maria, mom. <laughs> is she part of the church and the congregation? Yes, like that. Mary. Mary, look like a Mary, like that. Jesus' mom was Mexican. <laughs> Here's the problem. Like this. I think it's fashion. I don't feel like it's sexy or wow. I definitely envisioned that the dress I would pick would be so fashion, 
fashion forward, but also classic in its own way. And I had to put that twist together. This dress was very tame. It's beautiful in color. It's definitely fashion in color, but it didn't, as Elaine did call out and was right, it didn't jump out at you. So it took its own personal touch, which you'll see what we did. <laughs> Look how fluffy and light and foamy the layers and the chiffon of the dress is. 10, love. Love? You've worn this before. Jeannie! Mm -hmm. Can you just do some like turning it. and can you just move a little? How would you dance in this dress? Drop it like it's hot. How would you dance? Hey. 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 That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> why I have this show, because you guys get to see me the way other people don't get to see me. Roll and twerking, bob and weaving in my wedding gown. Definitely for the reception. This is pretty though, guys. It's beautiful. beautiful. And it's really pretty for dinner. It is. I like that look Mama Mai gave me. That was so sweet. She was like, she was like picturing me on the wedding day. I saw that look. So the reason why I'm trying this on is because I don't know if many people know, but my dress was actually two pieces. My gown that I actually wore was two pieces. And I knew that the top was going to be just a bustier. So this is the bustier without the gown part. And if I changed to dance, you know, for the reception or just have dinner, I would have just put a beautiful skirt just to wrap it. Ooh. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, what did I say? What did I, what, what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Jeannie, that is so what, cool. What did I say? He's yeah. like, I'm taking this credit. Yeah. Is it gas? It's, it's gas. <laughs> this is prettier now with the people. Okay. That is because so this cool. needed a, oh. I, it's gas. It's gas. You don't look innocent at all. Yeah, especially her. Yeah. yeah. And then you go. Wait, thank you so much. Wait, can we do one fluff? <laughs> it's not harder with I know, it's perfect. It's perfect. Here yes. we go. We'll talk. Uh, wow. wow. That's beautiful. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Like, wow, I like it. Like the Cinderella. Wow. Wow. Ooh. I get it. With a you don't know if you're trying on. Train, like super dramatic train. I like the old fashioned kind of look, but yeah. also I like the show of the petticoat, which yeah. is pretty kind of like edgy modern. I love this shape on you. I think it's breathtaking. Breathtaking. Like when you walked out, I was like, <gasps> I love the bodice. Oh, oh, to the ground. To the ground. To the ground. Lips to the ground. All the way, all the way. All the way. Wow, all the to way. The oh, this one, okay. Like this one, good. Rash. 10 plus. What? Oh, wow. That's a first. I don't love, I love the shape of the skirt, but I don't love this skirt. Okay. So I feel like if we could just play with different variations of this shape. Is it too busy? Is it the boning and the applique and the see-throughness? I see a bit of that. It's too much going on. It's taking away from like the grandeur. It's like now we're, it's like. Mm. So are there ways to adjust this dress so we can bring it into the 10 range? So Lisa, you guys have met Lisa several times now. So Lisa herself worked with me on the details of the dress. And I don't know if you guys know this, but we made this dress and turned it around in three weeks. It is completely unheard of. And the reason why we were able to do it was because of the house of Galia Lahav. All the way from Israel, by the way. They took all of my notes and they went through such time and care to make sure everything turned out perfect. And it really did. And Lisa oversaw the process and made sure to hand place the details afterwards and finish the most important detail, I think, which kind of made the look. I can't, okay. So what we found at Mood was this, which is a nude embroidery with with beading on top of it on the camera it looks white but it's literally nude and it works with it doesn't look white it looks nude oh it's so nude and gorgeous it's like i this, love it it's it's really this is like really beautiful we thought what about taking this fabric which is these nude little dingleberries little flowers and placing them strategically over this. So every once in a while, you would have like another layer. So the dress I ended up picking was pretty much the body of a princess gown, but I stripped it of everything to start raw. 
we built together the layers from the see-through boning that you saw of that beautiful Galia Lahav signature skirt. And then we handpicked the different chiffon layers of the nude so that there was a different like look of nude from every turn or every position that I stood or walked. And then we had to hand place applique on top of that. It was so important to find applique that was the exact same color of the dress because if you had different applique or lighter applique, it would show up too much. I wanted it to just be monotone and beautiful and Lisa found it. This is your fabric. It's and these beautiful. are your nudes. It's gorgeous. And these and these are your nudes. A nude, just the first applique here. Yes. It comes out here. Then it becomes nude, 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 little petals and flowers, little petals, flowers, and pearls. I wanted people to look at the whole gown and appreciate the eyeline of just going into this princess shape. I don't want them to go there on my hip or there on my ankle. Like I want them to actually just see the flow of it. So that's why the monotone part was perfect. And I also wanted it just to have a little glimmer when I walk, because we all know the signature moment of a gown is when you walk down the aisle. And I wanted just the glimmer of the sun to just capture bits of the dress, but it didn't look like it was specifically placed applique. And that's why me and Lisa hand placing it was so important. Oh my gosh. These are the specific appliques that Lisa went through. We went from Israel to Beverly Hills, right? <laughs> yep. Look at these appliques. Yeah. Perfect. You guys trim around the edges and fit them on here. It's already perfect the way it is alone, honestly. Like, I'm telling you honestly, I would wear it like this. I just love how effervescent it was. It was just, it was dreamy around my body. Do you love the way that sounds? This makes it look wedding -y, mm -hmm. And this is why I'm excited about this. Now, the fact that it's a little see-through means I should wear a high-waisted full back panty, right? I would say so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of excited if I manage to get just the right panty from Target. Because if I'm getting married <laughs> in a Galia Laha beautiful fall gown, but I'm wearing just the right comfy Target panty, I feel like I'm at home. I absolutely wore a Target panty for my actual wedding and I was so happy about it. Oh my God, she did the back of that dress. This dress is just, oh. I know, Lisa. I'm so, it's so beautiful. Or like, if we don't want it so big, we could just steal like this I, that's tail. That's really pretty, that piece. I just would remove some of those little round berries. I'm not really loving those. Uh -huh. Get rid of this dangling uh -huh. flower. The ladies affixed the applique onto the dress in such a way that I could actually take it off. So that one day, if I ever wanted to repurpose this dress, maybe for an anniversary, maybe for a renewal of vows, I can do so and change the dress into something totally different. I like the really peekaboo. Beautiful. Do you see how I'm doing my crisscross? Yeah, right there, right? Can, can. So if you walk in a princess gown, you can't walk like this because the gown gets tripped up in between your legs and it doesn't give it the nice flounce. You have to walk like this. Hit the bottom. The back. She really did. She really, really did. These are all handsome. Every single edge of this was hands on. So, like, that gown is a dream come true, and there's not one thing I would have changed about it. And it had to be the perfect dress to hold a candle to the perfect man that I married. This is Jeannie Mai Jenkins. <laughs>